All right, so let's start with the big story that we're tracking on beyond at this hour. The Indian Prime Minister is currently on a two-day visit to Russia for the India-Russia Annual Summit. And in Moscow, he addressed the Indian diaspora, where the Indian Prime Minister said that India's relationship with Russia is based on mutual trust and respect. And Narendra Modi said that this day, of course, marks a month since he took office as the Prime Minister for the third straight time. It is now vowed to make India the third largest economy in the world in his third term. I had a pride that in my third term, I will be working with three strong As he communicated his government's goals for the next five years, Modi emphasized on housing for the poor and on women's empowerment in India's rural areas. The Indian Prime Minister said that the entire world is just simply amazed by the speed of development that has happened in India since he came to power 10 years ago. He also spoke about India's successful moon mission, the country's flourishing startup ecosystem, as well as developmental projects that have happened in his leadership. Today, when Bharat L1 point, the Suraj ki parikrama puri karta hai. Today, when Bharat dunia ka sabse uncha रेलवे ब्रिज बनाता है आज जब दुनिया की सबसे ऊंची स्टैच्यू बनाता है तो दुनिया कहती है वाकई भारत बदल रहा है Now, the Indian Prime Minister further added that India is seen as a strong pillar in the evolving multipolar world he claimed that the entire world believes that the 21st century is actually India's century. He's also vowed even faster growth in the next forthcoming 10 years. All right, now to give us more updates on this, we're being joined by our principal diplomatic correspondent, Sidhan Sibyl, who's joining us live from Moscow at this moment. Sidhan, this, this of course is a crucial visit by the Indian Prime Minister. Tell us what's been transpiring there so far. Well, Mohammed, I'm just standing near the Kremlin where the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi and uh, the Russian President Vladimir Putin are meeting. We saw those opening comments and key comments. Uh, let me divide those comments in terms of the substance into two parts. First, on Ukraine, the direct message by the Indian Prime Minister to the Russian President that the solution can't be found on the battlefield in uh, the noise of the guns and uh, the bombs and key crucial message we know that india has been emphasizing on dialogue and diplomacy and uh, these words are important here in kremlin today given the fact that uh, how there have been remarks after remarks from state department and of course uh, coming from kiev as well now the other key component of uh, the remarks made by the indian prime minister was on uh, the russia india cooperation in terms of energy that he said has uh, help the Indian consumers. We all know that uh, amid uh, uh, the conflict, India had increased its import of Russian energy, and this despite the Western uh, pressure on New Delhi. So, very important and interesting statement made by New Delhi uh, and the Indian Prime Minister uh, here in Moscow. And these are comments that will be closely watched in the West. Absolutely, indeed. And also, you mentioned about the comments that have come in. One of the comments that has been made is by Volodymyr Zelensky, where he is not very happy with the fact that Prime Minister Narendra Modi has met with the Russian President Vladimir Putin. Now, India has good relations both with the West and also with Russia, and it follows a policy of strategic autonomy. Give us a sense of how this visit is being viewed in the West. 
Well, we have seen the comments. In fact, the State Department said that uh, they hope that the Indian Prime Minister talks about rule of law and the Ukrainian territorial integrity and sovereignty. But critical comments coming from Kyiv. Uh, uh, but even as we all have seen those comments, remember Indian diplomatic presence was there in a group of uh, diplomats uh, uh, who visited the hospital which came under a missile strike. Now, essentially, India, as you pointed out, has the policy of strategic autonomy. But India is also navigating itself in an increasingly geopolitically volatile environment and keeping its self-interest on the top. Now, we know when the conflict started in 2022, India, of course, uh, maintained its neutrality. It abstained uh, when it comes to anti-Russia resolutions. But uh, India, of course, uh, continued to engage with the West and also continued to import uh, cheap Russian crude oil. In fact, just recently, we saw the peace summit in Switzerland where India was present, but India was not part of the joint statement. So essentially, this navigation Navigation by New Delhi is closely watched and how the world's largest democracy and the leader of the world's largest democracy here in Moscow navigates and converses with uh, the Russian president uh, to make sure that this conflict which impacts the global south uh, comes to a halt very soon. Absolutely indeed. Thank you very much indeed Siddhan Sibyl for joining us and getting us that, those details there. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.